Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Angu, the special version. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but I know it's still Angu. It's got the name here. And this one also is Angu, but it is a totally different bag. I don't know if they had two different manufacturers putting these together, but if you look at this one, this one is nicely stitched. Inside is nice. You know, it's got the mesh here with a nice quality um, pencil holders. The inside is nice. I don't really see any strings dangling anywhere or anything like that. It's not as big as the other one I'm about to show you, but this one's a nicer quality. When you look at this one, this one's bigger. It's got the handle on top, but the quality is way off. For one, here, you can see this string here that somehow is sewn to the inside of this top part here. You can see, let me hold this up, where it's not really neat. And then if you look at it from the bottom, I'm trying to spill all my pins all over the floor. So let's see if I can show you this one. There, it's kind of all. I don't know. It looks like a little kid sewed it together. I hate I can't get a real good picture of this. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. See that? That's like all messed up. And then the quality of the materials is completely different. Here's just a real thin type of, I guess this is what, maybe nylon or something or polyester blend. And this is much harder, stiffer. The elastic is not as nice. It's got this kind of weird Velcro thing here. I mean, this one is bigger. It'll hold much more. It'll put your pins here. Uh, this part up here is about the same size as this one, but you can see how it's just different. This one's a lot nicer with the mesh and all that, with the different shades of khaki, all that. This one's just plain gray. There's no light gray in it, no mixture. Here you can tell the stitching kind of all the way around, it's just not as nice of a quality. And the inside of this is about the same as the bottom of that one. It may be a little bit wider, but it still has this velcro -y stuff at the bottom. I'm not quite sure why that's there, but yeah. So that's all the pins I have in there. I've got quite a few. Then on the bottom, you've got this flap. I'm not quite sure what this flap is about, it only covers what's in here. I mean, this is a pencil case. It doesn't need anything covered. This would be fine if the cover wasn't there. You can only put like little sticky notes over here and up here. Um, this will hold about six um, tumble brush, bleh, Tombow brush pins by itself. But I mean, it's convenient to have the extra space, but I don't know. Like I said, the quality of it is just different. You can see that. Kind of all along in here. It just doesn't look the same as their other product. I like, wasn't sure why that is. Because if it's made by the same company, you would think that the quality would be the same. But it's just like, this is just the uh, dollar store version, I guess. And maybe this is like, oops. This is probably the Target version on this one. So this one's a lot nicer. So anyway, that's been my comparison of these two Angu products but my money is on this one i think this one's gonna go back thanks so much for watching guys have a good day